Hello guys and welcome back into another episode of the Discovery Tours from the Assassin's Creed Origins. So we're gonna move along and uh, that's the pyramid we did last time, the Bent Pyramid of Dasher. And I guess this one here is the success that came out of that one. And then probably everything else back in the distance. <laughs> Learn on the lessons. But let's go find out. I don't actually know, I just know this one is the next one uh, based on the name. The Red Pyramid of Dasher. Here we go. Welcome to the Red Pyramid of Dashur. Uh, pyramid. Uh, still pronounced it wrong. The Red Pyramid was built two kilometers to the north of the Bent Pyramid. It was so named due to the reddish limestone used in its construction. The Red Pyramid reached a height of 105 meters. While the ground level of the Red Pyramid is lower than that of the Bent Pyramid, its height is virtually the same. The task of making the pyramid a geometrical, true, flat face pyramid brought about yet another new design concept, the use of casing blocks. Wow, so it's actually the same size like the other one, which is bent. It may not look like that, uh, but that's the case, and uh, that's 105 meters, so we've now learned how tall it actually is, and yeah, that is really impressive, I mean... I know technically skyscrapers in our age is that they start at 150, I believe. But, uh, you know, back in the day, and even in our times, uh, just recently, uh, let's, let's look 40 years ago, to have a building taller than 100 meters in Europe was uh, rare. And that will be definitely considered skyscraper. And justly, I mean, that's uh, probably three times as tall as your typical four or five stories uh, building. It's res either commercial or residential or office like, but that's three times as, as tall, if not more. Very interesting. Well, let's have a look at the other stations we're gonna learn on that one. And I love the special effects with the sounds and the heat. Everything in the background is distorted. You know, this game really seen a lot of love from the artists and uh, the programmers. Look at that, it's just really stunning how well it actually simulates the actual stuff in real life. The descending corridor of the pyramid, which opens to the north, arrives at ground level, where two almost identical spectacular chambers with high ceilings are aligned north to south and connected by a short horizontal passage. In the south wall of the second chamber, accessed by a staircase, another corridor leads to the final chamber, which is built within the masonry of the pyramid itself and aligned east to west. Cool, so there should be uh, two massive roofs inside. And again, it seems to be one of the short uh, tours, so I'm gonna peek inside and see if we can actually spot those. I'm fairly confident that they actually build it the way it is. In real life, uh, into the pyramids, I mean, there's no reason why not to. If there's only two actual rooms you can reach anyway. And there's the other thing I wanted to mention. Which I'm gonna say later, let's see if we get time for that. Let's, uh, if I don't forget to, <laughs> we'll see. The annexes of the Red Pyramid consist of a small funerary temple located to the east. A causeway presumably ran due east from the temple, but it has yet to be excavated. So I do assume we're looking at it uh, right here, and probably that part in front as well, that's, that's part of that. Uh, sadly, not excavated fully yet, but at least there's still something to do. Uh, the Egypt has so vast history, and uh, so many relics are buried essentially in the, uh, in the sand, there's still, <laughs> I don't know, 200 years of explanation, whatever uh, it was said when I seen some documentary to be done, and that's only from what they know already uh, by the scanning, you know, like deep scans of the ground, what uh, is possible to uh, uncover, uh, but could be obviously more. The Red Pyramid was structurally sound, and once finished, marked a remarkable design milestone. Finally successful in his attempts to build himself a suitable funerary monument, Sneferu knew his future beyond death was assured. 
Well, that must have been uh, comforting. <laughs> Knowing that, uh, <laughs> at least in their minds, was uh, now your afterlife is uh, guaranteed and taken care of. And yet again, I do want to go up there and experience that 105 meters. Chicken, uh, the largest pyramid of Giza, I believe, that's 180. So yeah, that's basically nearly twice as tall as this, which is a very, very impressive number, but uh, I was about to say even 100 is quite quite very impressive. I mean, if this is very one of the very first attempts, really, after learning some lessons, uh, that's, that's quite impressive height they already achieved. Oh, obviously I need to still look for the cracks in the wall. Well, it's not possible to get there, and uh, on this one we can definitely not cheat and uh, just try to walk on the wall. It is way too steep, but I do believe you can get all the way to the top. Um, wow. It does feel taller than the other one, but probably it's just uh, because of the difference of uh, where the ground is are. Look, look at the beautiful <laughs> equal angle. It does look, uh, in my opinion, better than this way than the one uh, which is bent, essentially. But uh, both of them are beautiful, of course. Now I wanted to say, since uh, they mentioned uh, they were supposed to be apart 2 kilometers in the real life, so we can kind of now judge how what is the scale of the game. But it was probably trying to scale it the best possible, but obviously it can't be in real distances, that would be way too large. Uh, and even, you know, if it wasn't like too large for uh, the players to like go across and play, like it won't slow down the gameplay, it will be uh, financially very difficult to put that kind of resources uh, just to really stretch out the map, but this to me looks in the real scale, let's say in a game, about 500 meters apart, so half a kilometer. Uh, so that will put the scale four times as small as the real stuff in probably more than uh, just distances. I'm, I'm pretty sure Memphis must have been larger than what we're looking at, although that's already massive, but I'm pretty sure it must have been larger, so it's probably some parts are missing or are, uh, you know, shrinking down in size, etc. just to fit it in. Uh, but, but still, I mean, it, it is very impressive and uh, the game certainly is alive and uh, full of uh, life. And uh, including uh, the deserts, like uh, even this for me, when you go there, there's always uh, some sort of activity, uh, something going on as well. I mean, it is a good game. Uh, I didn't do any playthroughs or anything like that, or even try to attempt to see, uh, to show you guys uh, yet what the gameplay is like, actually. So at the moment I'm just doing the tours, and now I do wonder, yeah, let's do it this way. Maybe, uh, Struggling now because it's been a while since I played this game actually. Uh, struggling with the controls to try to remember how I did stuff. However, I do want to go in as well. So, definitely, this is what we've seen on the picture. It was going down, it should be one long corridor. Uh, supposedly, it was supposed to be stairs as well. Oh, now, this is just no stairs, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just tiny detail, I guess. And there should be two rooms. No, this could be one. Uh, this seems to be more of that. Uh, so what is this, for instance? Well, that's definitely one of them. There seems to be a lot more. <laughs> a lot more. I think I do remember this uh, from when I was playing the game. I definitely was here uh, already. Yeah, well, that, there's a lot of stuff to see in here. Is this going totally? No, it's just going down. Well, let's let's go. Let's see how deep we can go into. And what can we find out? Okay. Now, as far as I, it's shown on the actual tour, there should be just two massive rooms connected by the staircase, which wasn't really staircase, but uh, the game decided to uh, put a pretty bit more interesting and uh, more stuff, a bit more open as well, more to explore. I do wonder how we're supposed to see. I'm pathetic now, to be honest. I don't even know how to jump anymore. Uh, 
I was under the impression, yeah, she'll do it on, it on her own, but she just wanted to go up there. Huh, I guess I will need some practice. Which I'll do on my own time, not gonna waste yours. Let's try one more time and see if we can actually get up there. Okay. Uh, third time is a charm, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, after a while you're gonna notice it's, it's quite generic, but then again, uh, why shouldn't be? Obviously it won't be every pyramid uh, with different kind of uh, artifacts in it, or objects, you know, urns, everything of, of course will have kind of the same styling, or similar, because it's the same culture, so it kind of makes perfect sense, but uh, it may seem like repetitive at some point, but to me, not really. I mean, I do enjoy this, in a, especially Egyptian uh, culture and architecture, which is uh, the predecessor, predecessor of uh, Roman culture, which is also my favorite one. Uh, it's very, very impressive and uh, artistic. Let's, uh, it's a better expression for that. It's uh, it's called the aesthetic or, uh, you know, beautiful, put the other way. So I really find all of this to be uh, true art. And uh, hopefully all of this is going to be preserved and uh, saved for future generations as well. Uh, if nothing else, at least in digital form like this, but uh, obviously, preferably, uh, the real thing will be still there. And uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to go myself and visit it. Can we go up here? But it doesn't look like, yeah, something I can go up. No. Well, we're gonna end the turn right here. This is the dead end. But I'll see you guys in the next one.